hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is violet if you're a new subscriber and then to my old subscribers my og hey girls hey guys but yeah i came i conquered i don't know what i'm saying i just got off of work that's why my hair looks kind of crazy but i'm finally doing how i fix my severe damaged bleached hair so obviously by the title that's why you're here I don't know how I was gonna record this. I was like looking up videos how people did this, but I'm just gonna be me. I'm not. I'm not trying to stress about like, oh, well, should I be more informative or whatever. But yeah, this video is for Kelly. I know this took a while, but like a couple days, week for me to record. But I'm finally recording it. Step one: cut the hair off. Cut that off. I know it's gonna hurt you and you're gonna be like, oh my God, but my hair is gonna be so short. I'm gonna look so gross. Just cut it off, cut it off. I was in denial for a little bit and I had like one little strand. I'll insert pictures right here. As you can tell, my hair is very damaged. I had like one strand of long hair. I had no hair. It was horrible, but I kept pushing on and I was like, no, and then finally I cut it. I cut it and that's when the real healing process started and now that's why I have hair <laughs> basically but yeah I know it's hard but just cut it off step one cut it off just cut it off stop bleaching it cut it off okay guys look at me cut it off if you're watching this just cut it just cut the hair off okay step two step two is I really started not washing my <laughs> this is gonna sound bad, but I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair every other day, sometimes every other other day, every other day, but not every day. It's either every other day or every couple days. Last week, ugh, no manches, I washed my hair on Sunday night and didn't wash it until Friday of the next week. And my hair wasn't looking crazy or super greasy. I think because it was really cold that week like really cold i wasn't sweating at all at work i wasn't sweating um i would have i would have wet my hair here and there in the shower that's the thing i i don't know that i think about it's like okay you know when you don't wash your hair do you re-wet it in the shower or do you just like try to not get it wet like is that the game plan let me know in the comments i don't know i was just thinking about that because i was like wait is that why my hair is so greasy but anyways so yeah this week I washed it on Monday night, Monday night, was it Monday night or Tuesday night? Monday or Tuesday night and today is Thursday during the day or 325 so yeah so I won't wash my hair again. I'll probably wash it Saturday during the day because we have somewhere to go so yeah I don't wash it every day unless I have somewhere to be and um, something something but yeah wash your hair every other day step two don't wash your hair every day. I don't know maybe that's what helped me so don't follow this if you, it doesn't work for you because I know some people's hair is really really greasy but wash it every other day so if you're washing it every other day then you need a dry shampoo dry shampoo I feel like anyone works um right now I'm using the suave 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 salon proven to refresh hair as well as as Renee Futur I don't know. It's a dry shampoo for all hair types. Smells really good. Before that, I was just using, um, what is it called? I don't know. I got it at Marshalls. Honestly, I only, I either go to Marshalls or I found this one. This one's only $2.98. Because dry shampoo, I don't know. Maybe my hair's not that crazy, but I feel like they all work the same. So yeah, dry shampoo. This is going to help you. Now, in the shower, in the shower. I'm about to shower, but I wanted to show you what I'm going to use in the shower. I have yet to find a, well, I have found. I used to like, I don't know, when, when my hair first got damaged, I was like, I went to Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I bought like, like shampoo and conditioner from there because I was like, oh, well, this brand's really good. That's going to help my hair. It says it's for moisture. It's for damaged hair. And then I had gotten, it's like in an orange bottle, Amika. I had their shampoo and conditioner and their deep conditioner. I like the deep conditioner. The conditioner and shampoo was like whatever. And then I got the Suave um, Green. Not the green and gray bottle. I think it's moisture. And then like their almond. I don't know. Like their higher brand. 
their stuff works really good yeah it makes my hair soft but do i feel like oh my god yas and then i tried um this brand i still have this l'oreal their total repair five shampoo and conditioner it's good it made my hair soft and stuff but then let me tell you this stuff this stuff you need 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 if you get anything from this video buy this we'll try it i wish they had sample sizes but yeah i got the hosk cock co coconut hosk coconut the oil the nourishing one so this is the nourishing shampoo and conditioner this guff stuff has made my hair so soft like you know like i i look at reviews and stuff at target walmart just because i like to see what other people say like okay this person said oh well all the reviews they're always like oh my god this is the best ever like it's made my hair so soft no it did nothing for my hair like this it makes my hair soft but it does nothing but this i'm telling you guys made my hair so soft for the first time ever like i've never raved about a shampoo and conditioner but this stuff best and it was only these are only like four bucks each well five bucks each and they lasted me a while even my fiance started using this so he only uses the shampoo and his hair comes out really soft but he's a man and i feel like men i don't know they're like built different anyways so good so so good and it smells like coconut if you don't like coconut then okay try some maybe i haven't tried any of their other brands of shampoos and conditioners because i know they have several like little nourishing damage but i really love how coconut smells so i got this one originally thinking like okay well i love how it smells it's nourishing like my hair's not damaged anymore so i just need something for moisture nour nourishing so this is so good and it's free of sulfates sulfates and parabens because i guess like that's really good for your hair and i feel like it is like i went to target the day i got these i went to target trying to find like a sulfate paraben free shampoo conditioner but all of them smell so perfumey like i love perfumey stuff but like not a, none of them like caught me but these did so i really love these so i'm gonna use this in the shower and shower and shampoo in the shower right now and then i tried their deep conditioner so good so freaking good i had gotten i wish they had this in like a bottle form but i was thinking um like oh i'll just use this as instead of the conditioner on some days and every other hair wash day because this it says it's up to two to three times but i don't have a lot of hair and this lathers your hair so i can probably use this like 20 times i'm just kidding but yeah love this nourishing deep conditioner well that's like step four get yourself a deep conditioner whatever works for you you know some things like i said reviews they say like the l'oreal is like the best things that's happened to them but just find a deep conditioner that you love that it feels moisturizing and use that every other day or every other two days or whatever, every other wash day right i don't know i'm not a hairstylist but yeah i use this i'm gonna use this today just for the sake of this video so while i'm in the shower again you want to switch to a wide tooth comb in the shower when you're combing your hair out well i mean you don't even have to comb your hair out this is what i've been doing because i saw it in a video that said use a wide tooth comb to help with breakage so yeah i'm gonna use this in the shower and i'm just gonna comb out my hair just to, my hair doesn't have any tangles but yeah i just like to use this in the shower so yeah i'm gonna shower with these really quick you're not going to see it and then I will come to you after and let you know what other products have helped me become into this luscious goddess of hair. Okay guys, we're out of the shower, so let's do step number whatever and do out of the care out of the shower care. The things I've been using I think are important to cure your damaged hair is not to break it anymore. So you want to get a detangle spray. And I feel like again it's up to your preference whatever works for your hair. But again with Hothk, I got this from Ross like when I had visited my family in Texas in the summer because it was on sale. It was only $3.99. But yeah, it smells really good. It's the Cactus Prickly prickly Pear Seed Oil. This one smells really good. But I'm already almost out of it. So then I picked up the Coconut Oil one. I know it seems like I'm so obsessed. But this is originally, it's $6.99. But right now they have like the bonus one because then it would be like 
the size of this one. And I like it just as much as this one. So I suggest, well, try it out. Their detangle sprays are good as well. So out of the shower, I, I don't know, it's just natural for me to comb my hair again, even though I did it in the shower. So I'm gonna try to use the rest of this one. Just, I don't have any tangles, but I don't know, just to help it go in smoother. I just, I part down my hair down the middle now, so. We just part this way and that way. Okay. That's not even straight, Violet. Okay. So now we part. Ow! <clears throat> okay. So now we part it like this, sorry. I don't know, I just part, part it however you want, but you see how there's no tangles? So I just like to comb it out just to, it's just, I don't know, a routine for me to comb my hair after the shower, so yeah. But now with the regular brush, with the wide tube, wide tube, wide tube, what am I trying to, wide tooth comb brush, wide tooth comb. I got this from Burlington. $3.99 or $2.99 for a set of two. So the one I have in the shower, I got this. I think I've seen it in one of my videos. And then you want to apply an oil. I haven't really found an oil that I'm just like, oh my god. But I am using, oh my god, Husk again. Their Argan oil. I don't care how this smells, but it's the repairing hair oil. And then I also had gotten this one from when I first damaged my hair. And supposedly this one's really good. This one does have parabens, I think. And sulfates or it doesn't say it's sulfate and paraben free but it smells really good like really good <sighs> coconut I'm so obsessed with coconut so whichever one you want to use whichever one works better for you this one's a repairing hair oil strengthens and restores I don't really feel like it does anything but maybe it does but I don't care how it smells it smells like argan oil and I don't really care for that one I don't let me just put this on mine as well I don't like to put too much oil, so you just want to put, you want to oversaturate your hair, just a drop. Just a drop of coconut, and I just run it through my ends, not through my roots. And then, you let your hair air dry. Just let the bitch dry, do not blow dry it. I do only blow dry my hair when I'm going out, like, because that's my new hairstyle. Um, when I'm going out, like, out, out, not just to work, to work, and to school. Or to clinical, I do not bother with blow drying my hair or fixing it. I just comb it, throw it up in a clip, and call it a day. Get yourself a good clip. This is my favorite clip. It's only, it was $1.99 at Fashion Gal. If you're from Oxnard, or maybe they have a Fashion Gal in your area. So I just clip it up whenever it's dry. And then if I am applying heat, get yourself a good heat protectant. Protectant. Whichever one you like. You just don't want to further damage your hair. The thing that's going to save you with rule number one. Cut back to the first part of this clip. Cut your hair. Cut the hair. I know. It's like, but I wanna, can I save it? No, just cut it. Cut it. Cut it. If you're seeing this video, cut your hair. I know it's going to be like, oh, well, I'm going to look like a boy. Did you see the pictures in my first clip of the video? I look like a boy. But now look at Okay, obviously it doesn't look because it's wet, but I'm going to fast forward to my hair drying and then you'll see how shiny and soft it looks. So in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hey guys, my hair is like 90% dry, just a little bit wet at the top, but look how soft and like, I mean, you can't feel it, but like how shiny and voluminous my hair is and my curls are coming back like I haven't touched it I did not curl it I just let me turn off this light I just literally just let this air dry and this is how bouncy my hair is after like I just let it air dry and like okay take a shower of course but yeah look I'm so excited that my hair is so healthy and I really love my hair this length I feel like I'm not gonna Maybe I'll let it get longer, I don't know yet. Maybe I will like my hair longer, but yeah. I This is how I cured my hair. How I helped my hair not become so damaged. I literally let it air dry, put it in the clip for work. Of course, I have like mascara on or something, and then like call it a day. This is how my hair is 24-7. And then I only do it when, like I said, I'm going out. 
which is usually just on Sundays. <laughs> to be honest, my schedule is so hectic that the only time I only do my hair Sunday or like Saturday after clinical. But yeah, look, so shiny. It's still cut a little bit of wet, but other than that, it's really shiny, bouncy. But yeah, that's how I helped my hair from being damaged. Guys, if you see my videos, I'll link them down in this description box so that you can have a little reference. <coughs> Sorry, I drank a uh, seltzer before this. Um, a reference how bad my hair was and like, I have so many pictures that I look so bald. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this helps you cure your damaged hair and help you get back to healthy hair. I Do I regret bleaching my hair off? No. Because it's just hair. It's going to grow back. That's why I tell everyone. It's just hair. It's going to grow back. Like, yeah, you're going to look a little funky for a couple months. But look, and now it's like it's never happened. But I hope you... I'll list, list all these products in the description box so that you can just look them up. Um, I get them at Walmart and Target. And then, like I said, Marshalls for my dry shampoo. But yeah, I hope this all helped you in the future. In a couple months, I hope you come back and comment like, Hey, Violet, I really love that shampoo. Or I really love that deep conditioner. Or I cut that bitch off. And uh, I'm happy. <laughs> but no, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. And if you're new to this channel, let me know in the comments. Subscribe, share, and like. And stay tuned for more videos.